Hello everyone, this is KJ and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Uh, I have a, a whole bunch of stuff to do. The first thing I want to do is I want to see if the animal shelter is going to... Oh, I should have made those instead. Is going to make um, more... Uh, if It's going to work without the animals in it. So let's go in the office. And our animal number right now is uh, 19,042 grams per second. I was just noticing that the animal shelter puts out quite a lot for animals, but I don't think it works without the animals in it. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I want them to be a little bit back because uh, they like to wander around a bit. This is all very hilly. Uh, how about down here a little bit? All right. I don't think this is going to do anything without animals in it, but... Oh, I forgot to grab the methane. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, that's nitrogen. Goofball. <laughs> I need uh, signposts everywhere. <laughs> All right. Where was I going with this? Like right down here a little ways give them room to wander around when they get to that point. It does that every time, but also I think we might be out of power. No, well, it says it's running. Yeah, everything's running. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but without any animals in it, it's not giving animals on there. It's giving everything but animals. <laughs> Let's go look. Oh boy, it's dark. I've been wanting to use this flashlight in the dark. Because look at how much better it is. The one with the solar quartz. Alright. That should not have changed. No, it didn't. Alright, but we are getting some other stuff out of it. So that's cool. I'll take it. Uh, also, we have a ton of fish and a couple of frogs. I don't know if we're going to use all those fish. Uh, let's see where we're at. 47, and we need to get to 52 before we can make animals. Uh, but we might make some traits today for making animals. Uh, let's see how the treju is made. 300%, 350. Actually, the ones that I have are better. Uh, that one is. The other one... Oh, yeah. They're both 350s, so they're both better than the trade juice. Plus, I would need T4 mutagen. I found the bees, by the way. <laughs> they were in the worm box. <laughs> they were with the worms. All right. Let's see here. What's next? Uh, yeah, I do want to put in the... Um, the aquarium, the T2 aquarium, even though it's not going to be uh, nearly as good as these little fish farm things. Uh, I just want to do it for looks. So we'll start with that. That gets that out of my pocket. We need silk for those. Uh, I don't have that stuff on me yet either. Uh, fish farms. The... Uh, as far as the animals goes, the best thing is obviously going to be the animal shelter. But the fish, f I mean the amphibian farms are better for animals than the fish farms. And they both wipe the uh, T2 aquarium right off the map. But the aquarium is just for looks. So we'll do the amphibian farms. So we need fertilizer, carmen, common larva or karma. As I apparently like to call it. It's some water. That one's out of water. It's because it's finally delivering water. I didn't have it set up to supply. Alright. So, uh, common larva and regular fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer. Uh, I have two frogs right now. And then worms. Worms. Oh, I need to pick up worms. I haven't been doing that. 
I uh, also put it... Was it just sitting there for a second? Uh, I also put in a couple more... Or one more butterfly. Uh, so we need one here. I'm trying to keep this stuff semi-organized this time. Boy, it's going to do that every time, isn't it? So there's another... There's an Afi frog. Afi frog. And then we'll come up here. I think it, oops, I think it's because uh, we're actually using more power than these things can do on their own. And so it's, this is producing all of our power. So there's a couple more frogs. We also have some more trees to put in. And let's go build the aquariums and see how much silk we have for the fish farms. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. Oh, uh, that might not be good. <laughs> Alright, let's put in a couple of aquariums. We need A, B, and C. Uh, let's see here. Plankton. A. B. And C. And then we need two of those. Two T2 fertilizers. Now I don't know if there's any T2 in here. Oh, there is. And two circuit boards. We're going to have to make circuit boards pretty soon. Maybe. <laughs> I straightened up this mess a little bit too. So I put in a box over here for just quartzes. Because it goes right there. It goes... <laughs> all right we'll see how many fish we have left over uh, after we put these things in i think i might uh here we go i might um take out this middle room though oops Here we go. Maybe I'll leave it and put in windows. Okay, let's put in... We have Tegedes and Tilus because that's what I've been fishing for. So I'm going to put the Tegedes in here. And we'll use the Tilus because they're better out in the fish farms. They're better by, you know, 100%. An extra 100. So those are pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'll put in like windows here I think I have enough stuff left over and oops and that oh criminy I haven't got the rest of my roof put in yet whoa I plan to put in more roof <laughs> to cover our little area <laughs> our posterior <laughs> uh, now we need the fish farm stuff oh geez <laughs> might straighten out those fish farms too just to make them look nice water on me. Alright. Fish farms. We need the bioplastic silk and A for that. I also don't know how much bioplastic I have. Actually quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. something missing from there. Plankton A. Wow, that, that really makes the game jumpy jumpy. <laughs> Plankton A. We can pick up... We could pick up three if I click three times. I think I would like to fix this mess out here, though. I might fix these off video. I don't like how they're all on an angle. I was thinking about doing an angle 
towards uh, the walkway, but it doesn't look even or anything, so. Alright. Here we go. We'll do another one. How many can I do? All, uh, six, that's right. You're just gonna jump right on the thing, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll move those. I don't, I don't like the way that they're lined up. Even these aren't lined up evenly. Look at how terrible that is. It's really hard too. It's still lined up terribly. Of course, we can do a bunch more of these, but they're just not as good, you know. I might be thinking about a back door now. <laughs> All right. They're just not as good as the frogs, so. Oops, I almost didn't put anything in there. But we need to put the frogs like somewhere else because there's too many of them. I moved this screen in here because it was making me crazy. Uh, so we added 10,000 to animals. That's pretty good. Without a rocket or a fuse or anything, that's really good. We'll get the rocket eventually. Uh, so where are we at? Biomass. 50.95. We're almost there. We're almost there. 52. We have one to go. Um, all right. Also, we need to plant some trees. Seven, eight. And then we need the bacteria from downstairs and the tree bark. Is it eight or f no, it's four. Here we go. We just need four of these. Uh, zeolite, super alloy, and bacteria. I'm running out of room for zeolite. I'm going to have to put in another. <laughs> I have to put in another. A uh, box and se separate zeolite and osmium. You know, we're not really doing pulsar quartz like production or anything, so it's not a huge deal. Is there like something blue on that planet over there? Like dark blue? Looks like little dark blue colored lakes I never noticed before. All right, let's go put in some trees. Let me quickly check. I'm pretty sure the power is fine and it's just doing that because I'm exceeding the natural power. Oh yeah, 28,000. That's fine. It's fine. All right, let's see here. Someplace out of the way. <laughs> this is crazy. We'll liven up the desert over here, I think. Uh, you know what? The music is still loud, so I think I'll turn it down. Forgot all about it. Just take the edge off of it. It's still loud enough to hear, but not quite as, as edgy. I think there's, is there stuff in that one that I was supposed to get? There's definitely stuff still in the lava wreck that I missed. I was so sick uh, last week, I don't even remember. Alright. I don't know if I'm ever going to put a machine optimizer out here. These uh, 
these ones here aren't too bad. The Imoras, they're uh, 400. All right, that should spread out pretty good. There it is. That came up really fast. Now we can do genetics and make cute little animals, but first we have to make a feeder for them. I <laughs> wonder how, how the uh, blue tree came out. I'm pretty sure we have all the stuff that we need to make genetic material with. Can't even see the blue tree. That's what I was worried about. I was worried you wouldn't be able to see it. It's just tucked in there really tight because of this tree spreader. So I think I'll move this one since it's also not a part of uh, the um, power over there. Yeah, it's still pretty deeply tucked in over there. We'll get more of them. Or we'll run into a tree. Come on, Georgette. Pull it together. <laughs> I think we should probably be able to put an, a baby animal out there today. I thought I saw a frog right there. A little black one. You know, I've never gone to get the lava frogs. It's pretty funny. Put another one of these in. With another one of my favorite trees, the soleus. It's been very stormy. So I had a pulsar quartz storm. We'll go look and see if any of that pulsar quartz is left. And uh, then, uh, obviously, you saw the solar uh, super alloy storm. And dust storm and another one. I don't remember what it was now. Okay. Uh, where was it? It was over here. Pretty sure it was over here somewhere. I don't see any pulsar quartz though. I picked up a few of them. Oh, you know what? I've reloaded my game. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot. All right. What was the next thing? Uh, we still have a ton of fish. All right. Oops. Genetic synthesizer. Uh, Magnetar, Blazar, and Quasar. Otherwise, these, these things belong over here. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot uh, the uh, fuses that I bought. Three plant flute fuses. Fluses. Three more plant fuses. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how's the rest of that go? Two expensive. Explosives uh, and uranium. Let's see, there's a box somewhere over here called rods. There we go. <laughs> I'm just pumping up the volume. <laughs> I could take all of those heaters and uh, drills out. By comparison, they're barely doing anything here. All right. There we go. Yeah. 
Oops. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> hey, the butterflies are making it into the forest. <laughs> There's two more butterflies over here. Uh, Lorpins and Serena's. And what was that? Anna Fioriente. So they're gorgeous. I love those. <laughs> Alright, back to sequencing. <laughs> Here we go. We need a... Oh god, I gotta go get a circuit board. You know, I'm half tempted to ask the... <laughs> drones to get it for me, but I would have to be supplying them to get them over there. Alright, that may be the last one that we ever need to go get. And a T4 mutagen. <laughs> mutagen. Is it down here, though? The T4. There is a T4 here. All right, here we go. Now we're going to put the this over here. I get to be kind of even. And there we go. This is how you make it, animals. And this is how you get their genetic traits. So what we're looking for are species, and there's three of them. Oh my god, now what? Another pulsar quartz? Yes. <laughs> I think that one might land in the lake, possibly. We'll just let that go by. <laughs> nope, it's going to land on the other side of the base. That's like the perfect place for it. All right, let's see what we need here. So on here, uh, you see genetic trait information species. If the ears are colored in, that's the animal that you're looking for. If they're not colored in, it's a variant. Uh, so if we come down, uh, let's see if I can figure out where the variants went to. I don't know why they're not in order. Uh, that was what uh, species 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 uh, you might have to actually find variants i was sure you could make a variant oops colors oh it doesn't look like you can make variants that's weird all right so we want species so there's three different kinds of species um, we have, we can get them in the wild. We can get them from extracting their, uh, genetic traits. And we can, I think that's it. Um, you can also recycle something, I think it is. Anyway, so we have the bee, a silkworm, which we don't currently have, and a rare larva. Did I bring any rare larva up here? Uh, there's a couple of bees. I did. And I did not make any... Uh, oh, there's another fish. Which one's that one? Oh, a Yulani. It's not very good. Let's put the fishes away. All this goofiness. <laughs> Silkworm. Uncommon bacteria and fertilizer. Uncommon. Uh, fertilizer. And bacteria. Let's go ahead and make one of those while we're doing this. I was gonna make silkworms but not for this purpose. Okay so you go over here and you put these things in and it's gonna kick out the species. So you just hit genetic uh, you know you could just put in that many and it's gonna go through them all and there we have uh, two of the number three species and three of the number ones. And we'll go ahead and put those two in. We need a box. All right, so now uh, ignoring the genetic trait up there, now we have three number one species and, th and three, four number three species. Oh my goodness. And if you look in here, you need a species, 
you need a color A and you need a color B. So let's look down here for the colors. There's color A, there's color B. I needed those fish. <laughs> I put my fishes away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's look down here at the fish. So we're going to get um, these uh, color Bs from these different kinds of fishes. And one of them, one of the fish, the golden fish, makes bioluminescence. But if you put a golden fish in this thing and make an animal, animal out of it, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> so we'll just fill that up and we'll grab some of those colors. Did I hit the button? Oh, wait a minute. Something's wrong there. I need the Yulani and Provios, okay. We can grab the Yulani. So there's a color. That's not a bad color. And I need to make Provios. So let's grab our silkworm and make that other species too. Here we go. Here's our silkworm. It's otherwise really fast. I forgot to make fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should go grab one of the water life collectors and put it in the pond underneath me. Then we'll get all Provios. All right, <laughs> sorry. We also need uh, the color A, so we can do that with these different kinds of butterflies. Uh, there we, uh, there we go. The azure, the Leoni, and the Fencia. Can these ones do it too? Amol, chevrons, pangas, and palios. What is this one? Abstraeus. Oh, I haven't seen these in so long. We happen to have a panga. So, it looks like I'm going to have to make some animals. Oh my goodness. I mean, some, you know, butterflies. Uh, we have a panga, so let's go get it. So, I don't mean to upset your life, but we need you. <laughs> Jetpack failure. I just want to get one of these animals making that animal uh, shelter give us animals. <laughs> okay, so we'll get some color A. There we go. Now then, the other traits like bioluminescence and all of that stuff, they're not required, but we're going to do them anyway. So we'll do uh, species three. I like this purple. I don't know if it'll come out that way. Uh, so there we have all of the requirements. We can synthesize a creature now. But we also want things like bioluminescence and shades and stuff like that. Generic frogs give us a skin pattern. We might have to go find generic frogs. No, we don't. We don't need that many of them though. We just need the one. So this generic frog is going to give us a skin pattern. Let me just take that. Here we go. I think that might be a dark one. Um, and then we can do bioluminescence with quartz, uh, quasars, and magnetars. And then the flowers can give you some color B as well. Different color B. And then size. So we have uh, the volness over here. Here's a volness. We'll grab a size. Let's see what size we get. Three. Oh, it's going to be, uh, after it grows up, it'll be, you know, about as tall as your character. The bigger sizes, like four and five, get really, really big. So you'll want to watch out for that. Uh, this common larva will also give us a size. Let's see what size we can get out of that. Worms, worms, it's next to the food. There we go. Might be a little bit random, but I don't think it is. We'll put them both in and see what we get. We got both ones, which is really tiny. We won't be using that. It's too small. <laughs> And then we can use a golden flower for bioluminescence. We have lots of those left over. 
and we're finding them in weird places as well. Bioluminescence 1, so barely glowing at all. So let's go back over here. We'll put in Bioluminescence 9, which comes down all the way down there. And then Size 3. Got that one in there. And you can see how these uh, ears aren't filled in. That's a variant we don't have. And then we'll go with this skin pattern. And then there's, there's these wide stripes and skinny stripes. And then, of course, a species variant. So there is our very first animal. It's, it's instant. There's no, no waiting around for five or ten minutes at a time. Oh, I forgot to make something. Oh, my God. I can't forget this part. I, I already have No, I don't already have it on me. Because I dropped it somewhere. Uh, uh, bioplastic, water, honey, silk, wheat. And we'll also need wheat to fill it. Probably not that much. <laughs> and of course I need a circuit board. Because why wouldn't I? <laughs> We'll be going over this again um, at the beginning of an episode. Look at it, it's just floating. And we'll use some quartz to make some creatures too. Because I think that'll be cool. And some more flowers. Wait a minute. There it is. Okay. So we need a feeder. Oh, for goodness sake. I forgot that, honey. <laughs> I would go out there to the bees, but I know that they've already stolen it all. There we go. Oh, I just barely had room for that. <laughs> Alright. They need a feeder or they won't grow. So we can put all that wheat in there. And then we are going to demand wheat. And you cannot click supply on the actual um, plant bed over there. Then we come over here and we put our little creature in and there he is! He's so cute! <laughs> and he's... or she is purple and white. Now if you don't like this you take this out and you take it over to your recycler and you recycle it. And you get all the parts back. Oh my goodness. And it, he'll, uh, he'll grow up. He'll be bigger tomorrow. But now we've got an animal in there. And it says we're getting 34.9. Now, uh, I believe these have multipliers on them. So the different kinds of animals should have a different multiplier. But I'm not sure if they've, they've done that yet. So 1,000% multiplier. I beg your pardon. They also make a funny noise. <laughs> and now, now our biomass should be going up at a pretty good clip. We'll see. Uh, biomass. Animals are flying. And uh, yeah, that's going up pretty good for already being at 61 kilotons when we started. But we will pick this up tomorrow. And we will see we're not even fully all the way through it. Um, I don't know what the next stage is going to be. Hopefully space flight. But right now there's endings to the story. And uh, I don't know if I'm ready to do that. I haven't accomplished all of the things I want to accomplish. And we need the extraction platform anyway. And there's also the animal spreader rocket which is coming up. And Strabo frogs, Amiibo, Amido frogs, and the Jetpack T4. We still have stuff. And uh, also it's going to take a while to do the ending. Uh, because we have to go find all of the things. But there you go. There is our animal synthesis. And I think I'll, I'll end by looking at our little cute animal. And we'll fill this thing up with animals. I'll probably have a couple of these because I, I like to play around. See, they wander off. Here he is. <laughs> He'll be bigger next time. 
Oh my god, I'm going to starve to death. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.